working on the drain cutout for the shower flooring <coughs> where yeah. the drain is going to be. I'm trying to run one and three quarter out each way to get a uh, three and a half there. <laughs> what are you guys all upset about? Okay. All the dogs in the hood are in uproar. There's a mofo out on the street. <laughs> I'm going to uh, basically see if I have something that might be approximately the size to sort of trace that out. There's a, take that a little bigger on the outside there. That footage, they want for it to leave it. Huh? Don't use that footage, you don't have probably kaput. Let's see if we got some blade. Yeah, that blade is kaput. So you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it's not always laughter and giggles. When it comes to the construction, you do run into occasional issues. Like the tool's not working, or the saw blade is dull, or drill bit's not the right size, or it's not sharp, sharpened. And it's always something that complicates and prolongs the process of the construction process. I own a large corner lot and right. I'm adjacent to a large lot. Again, and ready to years set this, ago, you're going to have to get some shoes on and stand on top of that while I, I push, uh, push below. I was managing the vision of a company that <laughs> my mother set. would call me in tears going, honey, the gophers are destroying my yard. You're a petite and girl, so, but I, I got to have, have you stand, stand on top of it. Help us make that I'm going to make it get the glue. I simply bought the, I need to the flashlight too. Right? Uh, yeah, probably the flashlight too. And I guess that I washed that uh, towel that we used. So I don't know where it is then. You know, open it up a little bit, you break one of those bars in half. I'm going to go on a hunt. You can turn that off and it will turn out. Okay, so she's got now the top. Screwed in, she's got the board screwed in. 
This board here has screws on the corners, here, here, and uh, now then there's a few screws around here to hold that in place. So that's screwed in here with four screws. So it's just gonna go underneath now and attach the uh, P-trap and all that to this. And then we are done basically with this project here. Woohoo! Making progress. Okay, as you can see now, it's been connected from underneath. The P trap and the piping plumbing underneath is all attached to it. The board is all we had to t we had to unscrew the board and actually pull that board out to line it up with the uh, plumbing piping underneath. Stick it together and then bring that board back into position and screw it back down. So now she's taped it up with duct tape so that the sting stays out. And the nothing falls in either, that's right. So that first project is done. So the next project will be, you guessed it right, the toilet. Right. Yeah, this is gotta do gonna that, be... so we gotta be very careful right. with establishing our toilet flange height. So getting the drain down was major though, that's major business. So the other stuff should be significantly easier. A little stinkier, but easier. Alright, so stay tuned. We'll do some more blocking on that. So. Yeah, we gotta do some more blocking. Yeah, we gotta have that support. We can't have that piece of plywood. It'll start right. to bow on us if we don't get a support under that. Yeah, so we get our fat ass walking around there. Yeah, we'll start cracking tall, and we don't want that. So also, I don't have enough of a long sheet of plywood anyway, so it's going to be a mishmash of different uh, cuts, which is fine because we're going to be overlaying with backer board anyway, which has right. give to it. So I'm going to slide under and uh, pound these two home. I'm going to put my gloves on. So then you got the piece got that in there. there. This is the piece that goes up in here. Get, uh, flashlight. <laughs> so this is pretty exciting. So what that, that actually exciting, shows... <clears throat> Set over there. That was the good thing. Well, that actually shows as you are in the progress of working, you will always, well not always, but most of the time you will detect things that you haven't seen in the beginning. And you go, oh wow, I do need to add this you or that. find yourself saying, should I skip that? Yeah, you know, that ply, two layers of plywood is really thick. And you think, eh, I better just bite the bullet and do Once it. in a lifetime opportunity, yeah, it. might as well put that in. We don't get a redo on this, That's so right. we'll do it the right way. So I'll see you, uh, I'll see you 20,000 leaves beneath the sea here. All right. All right, guys. So as you can see, there was the first layer here, and then Rosie cut another piece for there. It's the second layer. Yeah, and our toilet, our flooring material is going to be three quarters of an inch final. So we'll have to mount this so that we can uh, we can put the uh, half inch hardy backer board, and then actually, if you want to, you can come underneath with the tile, or you can just stop on the outside mm -hmm. there. But anyway, we want to make sure this is uh, this is really good and secured, screwed down to the subfloor and everything. So we'll, uh, yeah, it's good. So uh, we're just been a little tough with the wood today. Made one costly bad cut that uh, meant that a big piece of uh, four by eight sheet of plywood wasn't properly used. But it's not the end of the world. Seam should be offset anyway for maximum strength. So it's all good. So we wanted to get this set today. And then the other stuff is kind of gravy, so that's the deal. So we're right. making good headway here. Good headway at all, where I really took a yes. fall through here. She took a beating. I took a step fall. backwards and went right through the uh, right through the holes here. Yeah. And uh, caught my uh, caught my elbow on that and my thigh. Luckily, Rosie's got 
you know, like a lot of bounce to her. So that's right. You like got they, that. Like they say, the air Rudolph the Red Nosed Ranger bumbles bounce, right? So, <laughs> all right. That's how things are. Thank God. Still going good. So we, we don't want to complain or nothing. We're just kind of. Just rolling along. Rolling along. Probably so. won't get to the plumbing today, but we'll yeah. get the. Uh, we already got the holes to come up and uh, catch right. that stuff. The way I look at it is, as long as we keep making progress, moving forward, you know, then we can still keep That's a it. smile on. So. Keep smiling. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so there's the Pex crimp tool set. Reducers. This is how this connects. This is PEX tubing here, plastic PEX tubing, and you put these male adapters, stick them on, and you put these rings on, and with this crimp, crimp tool that looks like these big pliers there. You actually come around this ring here and squeeze this ring together really tight and that holds this male adapter in here really super tight and uh, well, she's cut five pieces she's cut five pieces of this There's one more right there uh, there's five pieces, so we're gonna be, or she's gonna be putting on all of these here. Some of them, I think, need uh, reducers or, or and uh, we'll put all these, she'll, she'll put all these on and then install them, then go underground basically and install those and just come up with the uh, open end up and we will put we'll put in just plugs they got plugs for this that she brought, brought. And there she is she had to crawl it's under a there fail today I've got to have I don't have reducers so you know some places I have one inch pipe that's now capped and I have half inch over here and I've got uh, you know so I got to go get some uh, some reducers now before we get that in so okay another trip so I don't even know if we'll be uh, doing this uh, we might just get them all prepared put all the things on yeah we'll get them all prepared probably and um, you know do a little more securing of the flooring today so we're gonna have to put the water back on now uh, okay. in the house so okay I will make sure I'll turn the heater on in the uh, yeah, I'll shine shack. The heater in here, so I'll that go ahead and so finish doing the shine. connections on here anyway. Uh, and we'll make some progress on that. So. All right, so stay tuned, people, for more more progress. So it's 4:30. You had to make a second trip to the or three trips, three trips to, to the to home. Creepo and one to blow his store down there yeah. to get the uh, stuff that I needed down there. But uh, so what do we got now? Well, we at? decided t today that we might as well get all the supplies we need and get everything right. We had, you know, I forgot some of the plumbing down there on some of the old galvanized. I need to make out some, uh, make some uh, reducing couplings and some other things to get that done. But I did get the. Uh, you can see I've got the. Uh, you know, on the end of these, we have the uh, we have the PEX fittings on there that have already been pre-fitted for things like the uh, toilet feed and all that. We get the oh, well right down the hole. There we go, perfect. So it's in keeping with the day. But uh, you can see we got the, uh, the important thing. We got the drain set over here. All right, got the drain is finished. It works well. We've there. proven it. Yeah. And we've also we also get the uh, proper flange here. And we'll yeah. uh, set that three quarters above the uh, subfloor. We got two levels of plywood going to go on here for an inch and a half. It perfectly makes up with the other uh, there. And 
the uh, we'll set that three quarter high and then when we go to put the hardy backer board down for the tile we'll screw that in real good and then when it comes time to uh, tile we'll just tile around that and that'll be uh, that'll be the uh, perfect height and I know that works well and then we too. got a feed coming out there and we got uh, two feeds over there a new hole drilled for the uh, other one yeah, for we're the gonna cold pop water another feed there for the uh, cold water on that side we got the hot water feed uh, there so so a lot of stuff is already prepared yeah, for tomorrow yeah a lot tomorrow. of stuff is pre-prepared the holes are drilled I mean I gotta be upbeat it's gonna be a matter of adding some uh, some blocking and stuff in uh, tomorrow but it's you know it's all gonna be good it's all gonna work out so Having said that, for me, on the uh, Jen and Rosie reality TV, it was real reality. Down I'm here. telling you, I'm so glad fall. when those holes here are closed. Yeah, yeah they're uh, they're definitely uh, they're definitely something Especially to contend with on a today. day to day basis. Yeah. So, for me, thanks for being along on the Jen and Rosie reality TV. It's as real as it gets. Yeah, hours. that's right. So. Thank you for watching from me also. Stay tuned for a lot more videos to come on this channel. We're and having a cookout. Uh, we're having a s'mores tonight. Yeah, we're going to have a fire. We're having a s'mores tonight. Awesome. <laughs>